I have skated a bunch of Walt's freestyle boards, and I work with the owner Mike too, so I have a deep understanding of the different boards that Walt's offers. I started skating with the Tiny Dancer Single Kick about four years ago, which I want to say was a 7.3 or so, and I worked my way up all the way to the larger 8-inch Bixby. And while I've mostly enjoyed skating other larger decks, today I wanted to take out my 7.4 original Bixby and see if I could kind of get used to it. You see, I'm trying to make a decision. Since I started skating, hands down, my favorite boards have been the 7.6 Huntington Spoon Nose and the 7.75 Utah Fuji Pro. But since Mike announced the new team models in an 8.125 and a 7.4, I've been contemplating. Contemplating which one I want to try. Because there's a lot to potentially like in this new shape, but there's a big difference between an 8.125 and a 7.4. Larger boards flip and turn slower, they're heavier, and they take a little more muscle to move but there's a large surface area to land on and the larger wheelbases feel a lot more stable. In general, that is great for how I skate. Smaller boards are the opposite. They flip and turn way faster, they're lighter and they move with less effort, but they have less area to land on and the short wheelbase can feel a little bit jarring at first, especially if you're moving down from a larger board. I, for one, struggle like crazy every time I move down to a smaller board. As it probably was pretty clear from a lot of the early footage in my skate session, the short wheelbase and smaller surface area really throws me off, at least in the beginning. First, I gotta fix these trucks. I've just never been able to commit to getting used to a smaller board like this. Mostly because I know I'll have a better overall session on my Spoon Nose or Utah board. But that's pretty obvious. Those are the two boards that I'm always skating. Of course they're comfortable. But at the same time, a part of me does feel like I might be missing out on some of the best features of a smaller board. I forgot how absolutely amazing Monster Walks felt on these shorter freestyle boards like how fast and easily they flip, which is great for Casper to Caspers or double finger flips. I still can't do either of these, but I see a lot more hope when I try these on this smaller freestyle board. In fact, I got some of my best attempts today at both in just a couple minutes, almost right away. Honestly, it felt kind of crazy to be so close so fast. The new 7.4T model also solves one of my issues with the 7.4 Bixby, which is that I just didn't love the small kicks. I like slightly longer ones, so knowing that the 7.4T model has longer kicks, I think they're both 6 inches, while staying incredibly small, is tempting. I just fear getting a board that I don't want to skate as much as my current favorites. Of course, the 8.125T model also looks fun, but I think that would be more of an ollie, footwork, fakey big spin, pogo kind of board for me. Just given how small my shoes are, I'm not sure I would be able to handle a board that big for a lot of the classic freestyle tricks. I think Utah 7.75 is a good max for me for like a freestyle focused, classic freestyle kind of board. Anything above that and my feet actually struggle. But you never know. Sometimes boards surprise you. And that's the key here. The boards are just tools. Each skater will enjoy a different board. Each board will have different advantages and disadvantages. It's just the paradox of choice for me. The more options I have, the harder it is to make a decision. So if you've tried either of them yet, let me know what you think. I can't make up my mind as per usual. But I do still hope that you're having a great day.